Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Mary. This is Nightmare Bliss and I forgot to turn my lights on behind me, but that's okay. Um, we're a little low key tonight. It is still Friday, so it is Forgotten Favorites Friday, Friday Forgotten Favorites, Favorites Friday Forgotten, Forgotten Friday Favorites. Anyway, this is such a cool idea for a collab and I am so glad that Jamie reached out to me to do this and Jamie Jam Rossi I'm gonna have links below make sure you follow everybody and look for the hashtag too that is in my title that will also link you to everybody so let's well, get end on this no time to play around right if you are new here I am Mayor I am an elder goth I'm out of breath because <laughs> I'm old um okay Someday I'm gonna be like 80 doing this, going, okay, let's do my let's do my primer. Whew, need my inhaler. Um <laughs> it's been a crazy week. It has been a crazy week. Um, but let's get into this. I have been where can I start with this? Let's see. First off, if you are new here, I am a retired makeup artist here, stylist. <laughs> Nail tech and esthetician, and now I do this for YouTube because I live on a mountain in the middle of nowhere and it's so much more fun doing all this YouTube stuff because I meet cool people. Cool people meet me. I get to share my opinions on stuff and nobody can tell me not to because it's my channel. I'm just kidding. Um, anyway, I got some oldies but goodies and some of these are a little scary. A little scary. Th this one, okay, we're going to smell this. <laughs> we're doing a smell test. Don't you love when there's a makeup video? Okay, it smells all right. Okay, so I pulled out a few things that, well, this is new actually. The, the eye palette is new, but it came up in one of my lives. So this is also kind of a subscriber suggestion kind of thing too. Anyway, Jamie and I were talking about doing this and we got like kind of a little group of us now. Now we're all kind of doing this little forgotten favorites thing, which I think is so cool because mm -hmm, I saw all lip balm on. Oh my god. Sorry, I get this. Oh, my channel used to be called, called Easily Distracted, and now you know why. This is the Body Shop Swipe Moisturizing Lip Balm. And what flavor is it? Oh, it's passion fruit, and it's vegan. It's vegan passion, passion fruit because passion fruit is vegan. Oh my god. God, I love this stuff. Um, I got this one. I did my getting ready at the gate at the airport video. I did my makeup at the gate in Detroit. Uh, I'll leave a link for it at the end of this. It was really fun. I actually didn't even wear this. I don't think I wore the lipstick that I got. I think. But oh my god. Highly recommend this, by the way. This is like, I like, I love the two. Hold on. Not a fried, this is a new favorite. This is not a forgotten favorite. This is a brand new favorite. But this is always on my desk and I use this all the time. So we're always getting new stuff, right? And when I first started my channel, it was all like unboxings and unboxings and unboxings and how much stuff can I get? And I'm buying every new thing that comes out and everyone's chasing like, what's the next color? What's the next color story in a palette? What's the next, what, this foundation's better. This does this, this does that. And you know, there's also tried and true things and things that work really well. Um, we'll start with a primer. I have two. <laughs> These are old. Oh my God. Dude, I'm a little scared. So I pull, okay, this is good for 12 months. I think I've had it longer than that. And this is good for uh, 12 months. And I think I've had it longer than that. So this one, I really used a lot of it. This is the Tula Skincare Face Filter Blurring and Moisturizing Primer. Remember when Tula was like all the rage? Um, t Tula was like, oh my God, everyone's like Tula, Tula, Tula. Um, and okay it smells a little weird <laughs> testing it on my hand uh mm, i think it's all right is it is it okay why does it look a weird color okay this is mm, hmm 
maybe a forgotten favor that I don't want to put on my face. Oh my God, I know what I'm going to do. This is going to be crazy. You know what? It's my first time doing a video for this, so we're going to do something crazy. Why is there glitter on my face? I haven't put any makeup on yet. Oh no. This is off to a great start. Okay, well since I'm going to go rinse this off right away anyhow, here's what we're going to do. Okay, uh, so anyway, this Tula <laughs> Blurring and Moisturizing Primer, Probiotic Superfoods, Clean and Effective. I almost used it up too. There's not, I used like over, like a little over half the tube. Okay, well, we're going to do this on half my face and I'm going to hope I don't break out and it doesn't burn or anything weird. I want to try this on half a... Why is it like a weird color? Can you guys see this? Dude, it's like... Cha it looks like I'm putting fake tanner on. I'm not kidding. It just like completely changed the color of my skin. Hold on. It looks like I put bronzer all over. Can you see that? It looks like there's bronzer all on this side of my face. Look at my hand. Wait. You can't see it. It's the it's a ring light. Wait. It's like completely oxidizing. So this is what we call oxidizing. Um, the air is hitting it and it is changing color. It doesn't smell bad, but... Um, this is a Friday forgotten favorite that is going to be forever forgotten and going to have to go. I think it's okay on my face. It's uh still feels moisturizing, still pore filling, but it has oxidized completely. Like the air hit it and it just turned a totally different color. It is not supposed to do that. <laughs> it's not supposed to do that at all. It says encapsulated skin blurring pigments, but uh no this is like i think because of my ring light you can't tell okay so that's on one half of my face this is going to be the worst look ever um this is pretty much empty i can show you actually i don't even know if i can get any out of here will this unscrew oh i don't that's weird it looks like it should unscrew but then it doesn't pat okay well this is my pat mcgrath skin fetish sublime perfection primer it's pretty much empty. Uh, whew, I think I've had both of these for definitely over over 12 months, and I don't even know if I can get any of this out of here. Can I? Uh-oh. I didn't think I used this up. <gasps> Maybe I did. I thought I could still... Wait a minute. Ooh. Oh my god, we might have an empty primer. Y'all, Pat be empty. Okay, well, this was going to be the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. That's going to go. So this was one of the first primers I bought. I bought two primers. I do have another one here. Where did she go? Where is she? She's hiding. There she is. Um, I've used a lot of this one. This is not really a forgotten favorite, but... I mean, it is a little bit, because when I first started my channel, I didn't really know that much about indie makeup. Before I started my channel, I was wearing makeup and doing makeup, but I was one of those people. Look at this. <gasps> okay, wait. Can you see this in my hair? Look how gold. And I got the primer in my hair. Look at the color. Oh, my God. Let's get that out of there. Um, I can't tell because I have my glasses on, but if this side looks darker, it's because this has completely oxidized. I'm actually going to empty, empty this tube out and I'm going to put it in recycling. And so this is kind of cool. I have, well, <laughs> we're going to say I panned this even though I kind of didn't, but it's, I'm happy to get rid of that. I used over half of it. There's a lot gone and this is just air in here. I can feel it. Um, yeah, when I shake it, it's almost empty and she's empty. So we're going to recycle those two. So that's two primers gone. So that's this is off to a great start. But this is the Steal a One Step Correct Kitten. And I have had this for almost that long too. Uh, good. For, ooh. Well, I've been using this, so I know it's okay. But it says good for six months. And I'm trying to finish this one up. Uh, so when I 
was wearing makeup, I was going to, that's nice and green, um, I was going to uh, Ulta and just, oh, this is cool, let me get this, let me get this. And I wasn't even that wary of, is it tested on animals, is it cruelty free, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I was and I wasn't. But I thought this looked really cool. I liked that it was a skin tone correcting and brightening. And I thought the little swirly thing was cool. And I am going to try to use this up. And I have been using this even though it says six months and I've had it for like 12. <laughs> it's fine. It doesn't smell. I've been using it for like weeks now and I pulled it back out and it's been fine. Um, and I still like it. I mean, the thing is, like, I've really... Stila, you know, it's a big brand and it's not, there's nothing wrong with that, but I tend to try to use like the smaller brands or the indie brands or the the super clean beauty brands and all that stuff. So the Stila, I'm like, oh, it's such a big name. It's like Mac and all of those things. So maybe not so much for me anymore, but I do want to use this up. So there it is. I mean, not a lot of difference in the two of these. I gotta tell you on my nose though, as old and weird as the Tula one is, the pores on this side of my nose are look better. Okay, so this I'm really scared about. Do you remember all the hype? Do you remember the year of the KVD Good Apple Foundation? Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. So I got, it was, it's good for 12 months. Mine's older than that. When did this come out? I don't know, but I did use a lot of it. You can tell I used a lot of this. Um, God, I am so scared to use this again. Here's the thing of why I haven't used this. And you can probably kind of guess. I have really gone to using... Um, that's my La Mer. I've got my La Mer. I've got my... This is my House Labs. I've got Charlotte Tilbury. I've got Fenty. Um, notice they're all in bottles and things. And the other thing that I've really liked, why well, I haven't, I, I used this for a hot minute. And when I first started my channel, if you look way back, like two years ago or something, I reviewed this and I did the swipe on my, I was like, holy crap. It's like so ridiculous. I have to, I just have to see myself with my glasses on and see how the, okay. It doesn't look as bad. It looks really bad to me, but it doesn't look as bad to you guys, but she oxidized on this side big time. Looks like I have blush on, but that's the primer. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, so now my preferred thing, like when I first started my channel, I was like, oh, you know, full coverage, full coverage. Let's, I, that, that was kind of the thing too. Everything was, okay, we're going to go fast. Cause you know what? Right here, I'm getting super itchy right now. Okay. Miss Tula might be uh, making my face break out. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna say goodbye to her, and I'm gonna get this done so I can get this on my face. Um, so this is the one size turn up the base BBB cream that I recently got. This was in my Sephora haul, and I have been loving these like lighter, um, like this milk that I use. That this is a sunshine skin tint. Notice skin tint turn up the base BBB cream. Um, honestly, and I was going to say it, the older you get, like you try to do full coverage and basically the full coverage goes right into all your wrinkles. It goes right into all your lines. I was using this and I'm like, oh, this is awesome. This covers everything. It also doesn't feel so good. <laughs> it's very heavy. Like I, I just did this recently, the Ordinary Colors Coverage Foundation. This stuff feels like you're wearing nothing. Okay, even though it's full coverage and it's like so cheap too. It's like seven bucks for this. I got to get more. Um, I use this. I, I did get it. I did use a lot of this. Look, so I did use a lot of this. <sighs> I have not used this since I two summers ago, say summer of 2021 or something like that. I think is when I reviewed this and I used it. Um, good for 12 months. So she's way overdue, but no weird smell or anything, 
But the thing is, like, oh my god, it is... <gasps> oh, wait. Dude, could I pan this? Look, I've got pan. I've hit pan. Holy crap. Oh my god, I also have so much of this on here. I'm scared. <gasps> this is going to be... Okay, this might turn into that video where I said I'm going to do a video where I do all the things that I don't like to wear anymore. Look at this. Okay, well, let's just do it. I'm just, it's like put it, it's like pulling off a band-aid. Let's just do it. Okay. Um. <laughs> I should pull a Meredith Duxbury and just use the whole thing and just be done with it. I could say I panned my KVD good. I mean, look, I'm going to do it in this half of my face. Look, this is, I'll show you why I don't do this anymore. And you're going to be like, that looks great. And I'm like, no, it looks terrible. I just don't, I don't know. Is it just me? I'm just over the, there are people like, I'm a full coverage girl or boy or non-binary person. I, as I said, my channel, I don't judge. Everyone is welcome here. I don't judge. But me, this Meredith Duxbury, look at this. Okay. Like, I don't think, I mean, some people might think that looks good. I don't. I like real skin, and that's a really great thing to be able to say. I think you have to be very um, accepting and comfortable of yourself and comfortable with your age and your lines and your flaws, and I don't think it's a weakness or a bad thing to say, hey, I like my skin now. Um, I actually want to see skin texture. I don't mind if I have some freckles. I don't need to cover up every single thing. <laughs> like I'm doing oh my god this is gonna suck and then I have to clean all like oh my god it looks like I straight up have grease paint on my face <sighs> okay and I did hold on where is it dude I bought no that's a Morphe oh my god it's here somewhere I had the KVD brush. The, wait, is this it? Nope, that's not it. Crap, it's here somewhere. I have too many brushes. Y'all, oh, okay, remember this crap like this and doing the... Okay, I'm going to use this to kind of press it in. This is a little better, but holy shit balls. Holy shiza. Shiza! Holy full coverage, Batman. Um... Yeah, it, it looks like I'm wearing stage makeup, and I'm going to, like, I'm going to do what nobody does, because this is the direction I am going now with this. Ah. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Okay, so, like, on camera, this might look like, oh wow, look, well, look at the color of <laughs> my neck. Holy crap, it doesn't even match. <gasps> it's all over my earring. Other reasons. I don't like all this foundation. It gets all over. It's in my hairline. It's Oh, it's in my hair. I don't know how Meredith Duxbury does this. If you don't know who she is, go to TikTok and look. She's the one who puts like an entire bottle of foundation on her face. I don't know how she does it. I think it feels like you're wearing a freaking mask and I hate it. But I did pan this. We've got pan, we've got pan, and the good apple. I think I'm going to use this up just to say I used it up. But <laughs> this, this is just going to get... Oh my god, I, looked, I look like the Crypt Keeper. Um, what am I looking for? Help. Help is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for help. I'm scared. Oh my god. Oh, I know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for one of these because now again jeez mm, louise my poor piercings and then look full coverage i don't know if you can see this look at the nose on my glasses look it's all over it okay look i'm cleaning my glasses off look at that and also i noticed if you wear glasses um, that was another reason I stopped wearing the Good Apple Foundation when it came out is uh, I would put my glasses on and basically it would like come off over my nose. It, it's like, 
Oh my god, I'm never going to get this piercing clean. It's all crudded in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Parts of a makeup routine that I don't love. Foundation so freaking thick that it's gooped up in all of your um, piercings, if you have them. Anyway, so this, like, I'm just looking at myself going, it makes, it amplifies all of my lines. And to amplify my lines even more, just wait, oh, just wait. Um, I was using this for a while. This is the NYX. Remember when it was like the glass skin? Oh my God, this is in my eyes. and it's... <laughs> This is like the funniest video ever. Forgotten Friday favorites. No, I know why they're forgotten. No, um, this is kind of a funny one. I'm starting this out kind of funny, but I loved this stuff. Everybody was like, ooh, good apple foundation. And then they, they did come out with a concealer not too long ago, and I was going to try it. So I just want to, I'm going to make this look even worse, y'all. Let's just go full out disaster face. I look like I'm going on stage doing kabuki. And I got to tell you, my left eye is watering, I think, from some of the foundation getting in it. My eyes are kind of watering and burning. Um, high glass finishing powder. This was my NYX New York, and this is a medium, so this isn't even the right shade for me anymore. Uh, remember the glass skin thing? And putting this over this is... Oh my god, it's looking even worse. I can't believe people used to do this. I mean, and there's still people doing this, but... Not here, not anymore. And it's not going to come off as glass skin, but okay, we're going to go fast. My eyes are burning and my nose is running. All right, um, next. Now, this is a forgotten favorite that I do actually still love. This is, remember this? This came out a couple of years ago, too, I think. Not sure when this came out. Um, but Drugstore All-Star Face Palette. This was the first ever Physician's Formula All-Star Palette. And it has like the bronzer and the blush, and it looked like this. Um, didn't tell you guys at the time, but my look from Thursday, my friend uses my makeup, I was wearing this bronzer, and I was wearing this blush, and I used a little bit of this powder right here. But I think uh, I'm going to use this. What do I want to use? This is the Muro Muro Butter Bronzer. This one is a little too dark for me. When I bought this, when it came out, um, I was working outside a lot and I was like tan. I'm going to use this like this one. But I did just use this on um, the other day when I recorded my friend choose my makeup and recorded that and I used this. And I'm like, I got to start using this again. This is such a good palette and I still love it. And the thing I like is, like, these are all really light. Even the blush is, like, super light. But uh, I didn't mention it on Thursday because I wanted to mention it today. But blush. I know I didn't do the eye look yet. I'm doing the face stuff first. Oh, my God. I need to shower and get all of this foundation out of my hairline. The thing that I didn't... I mean, I like this palette, but the blush is... You know, I usually like a little bit more color, and it's very light. I do love this all-day petal glow. Like this, look at that, that shimmer. It's really pretty. A little bit on the nose. I gotta add a little bit more shine into my face, because this good apple is just covering everything up. Um, but yeah, it's... the thing is, this still smells good. I remember everybody got this, and they were like, oh my god, it smells really good. And it... Honestly, it really does. It smells great. Okay. <laughs> God. It still looks really scary when I'm close up to the... When I, when I move up to the camera and I get really... And I zoom in, you're going to be like, holy crap. Okay. So this was kind of a, uh, a suggestion that came up in my um, one of my lives. Was, hey, nobody talks about Juvia's Place anymore. And I'm like really not a lot, huh? So this was actually sent to me 
uh, by a friend. This is the Wahala by Juvia's. And Wahala is a Nigerian word translation for drama, drama, trouble, and intensity. Often used as a word and slang in Nigerian pidgin English, um, Drama Palette's powerful selection of contrasting colors exemplifies her inner struggles and beliefs. Um, yeah, that's kind of what this whole thing is about right now. So I'm just going to do a really simple I look with this. This is not really a forgotten favorite as far as a palette goes. This was new to me and this was gifted to me. But um, it's a forgotten favorite in that, you know, everybody's like, wow, Juvia's Place, it seemed like everybody was talking about them. It was like for a while they were really pushing all the influencer things and they were like all over the place. Now they've been kind of a little on the just a little on the, you know, down low, just kind of being quiet, doing their thing. But they did just come out with, remember I got these two, and I'm going to use these, even though these are a new favorite. But since Juvia's is kind of like, are they a forgotten favorite? I don't know. But everybody was all about Juvia's, and now it's like, not so much. But uh, I did get these two little multi-chrome toppers that are absolutely incredible. And this is also from my birthday Sephora Ulta haul. And I had even people then go, oh my god, I kind of forgot about Juvia's Place. Are they doing new stuff? And I'm like, oh yeah, they did these multi-chromes that if you miss them, I will swatch on my hand. But I will also put my, um, this is one of my favorite videos. I had so much fun. My birthday Sephora and Ulta hauls. I'll put a card at the end of this. But, um, these are like amazing. <laughs> this one especially. Holy crap, I gotta use this. Oh my god. So the whitish one is Fula and the other one is Ankara. And that is what they look like. And they are super, super pretty. I want to see how this blush looks with my glasses. I always use it. So it's, see, it's pretty pale. The highlighter's nice. It's looking good. But these are just amazing and gorgeous. And the multi-chrome shifts in them, look at that, are really, really, ah, oh, look at that, crazy love. So they are doing new stuff. This was all on a big end cap thing at Ulta when I was there for my birthday in January. Oh, by the way, new, um, oh my god, I just, ooh. look, if you're gothy, you really don't want to use KVD Good Apple. I think I just really screwed up this. I got the foundation on this brand new spiked collar that I just got from Killstar. Maybe I should just take this off because I just got foundation all over it. Did I? Yeah, I'm going to... Oh my god. Dude, I got foundation all over this. But I just got this and I'm taking it off. I'm going to have to use very gently use some makeup remover and try to get that off of there. Oy. Oh, I'm grabbing this too. This is another <laughs> thing I had for... Oh my god. Okay, smells okay. I have had this Winky Lux lipstick for I don't know how long. So when they did the little pill size thingies. Oh. And Winky Lux was like very, at first it was very like indie when I started my channel and then they got in Target and it was like, and it kind of blew up. But I'm just throwing this on what, I don't even know what shade this is. Pippi Lip Floor. Okay. And it's like a mauve. And, uh, mm-hmm. I don't know what's more shocking, me using all this old makeup or me wearing mauve lipstick. I mean, it is a really cute color, but, and I just switched it everywhere. Ah. Uh -huh. oh. That has to be one of the messiest lips I've ever done. Also, you try to put anything with lips. If you get this good apple foundation on your lips and you try to put lipstick over it, it just slides. <laughs> it's like sliding all over my face. Oh my God. 
Holy crap. Okay, let's do an eye look and call this a night because i got to get this makeup off. Holy crap. But Juvia's, anyway, yeah, I don't know why everybody stopped kind of talking about Juvia's. I do wish there was a mirror in here, but that's okay. I think we're going to do... Hmm. Hmm. Well, I like this color called Unshook, but should I do something crazy? Should I do crazy? Should I do crazy? Hmm. I don't know if I want to do crazy colors or what. There's all kinds of weirdness in here. I almost want to do something really bright and cuckoo because I never do that. And Juvia's is kind of known for that. But then there's a part of me that just wants to use all the purples and the black. But can we do a happy medium? I want to try this turquoise because this is crazy. And you know what I like is the fallout in the pan is not terrible. Uh, I'm going to... So this is my first time using a Juvia's Place eyeshadow in like a while. A while, a while. God, I don't even know how long. I want to say year and a half-ish. Um, it's dry. It's very dry. It's drier than I'm used to. Like, see, now that I'm using all of these... Um, I mentioned this before. Now that I use all these indie brands, they're very creamy. Like, they're super creamy formulas. And it's really weird. Oh, I'm going to try this. Uh, ooh, I'm going to use this pencil. That is a new pencil. I'm using a little mix of, like, new and old. Um, I'm using Oversabi. So that was Love, this blue. I'm using Oversabi, which is kind of this mustard. Okay, it's blending. Oh my god, it's blending like gorgeous. But it's so weird because I'm just not used to like this. Like. Kind of a drier formula. I'm used to these super duper creamy, creamy things. I'm just going to go. We're going to go a little nuts with this. Uh, hey, let's just use as many colors as I can. Busy body. Hot pink. Right there. In the middle, busy body. And then I'm going to use Unsilenced, which is kind of an orange in this corner. I'm looking like clown makeup now, but whatever. I mean, with the Good Apple Foundation, like, really? It's crazy, anyhow. Oh my god. I have Superman ice cream on my eyes. D dude, it looks like Superman ice cream. I'm not kidding. If you know what Superman ice cream is, comment. If you're from the Midwest, you know Superman ice cream. I call this look Superman ice cream. A little bit. I'm I'm just saying. A little bit. Um, what other crazy color can I throw in here? Woke. I do like pinks and yellows together, though. I don't know what I was thinking with this blue, though. I think I was going to go darker, and then I'm like, nah. I really need to kind of blend it in now. Oops, and I got way too much pink up there. Well, now we're going pink and purple on this corner. Let's just blow it all out. Let's blow it all out. Because you know what? Make a mistake, and you turn it into... That wasn't a mistake. I meant to do that. Like this. No, totally, totally meant to do that. So this is really different for me to work with because these are like really dry compared to what I'm used to. I'm going to take Envy, which is the lightest sparkly purple. And then what I want to do is just put it over kind of all of this and see if I can... Okay, it's doing nothing. Give me nothing. I mean, there's a tiny little bit of sparkle, but it's... Okay, there's a little there. You can kind of see it. Hello? Hello, pigment. Hello. This, I mean, it's pretty. Okay, there it is. It's 
like on my brow there. I'm just doing craziness with it. Okay, it's starting to, it's definitely a gotta build that up kind of thing. Okay, I'm gonna bring this down here. Kind of under. This is called I have no idea what I'm doing. Playing. I'm playing. This is um, me being artsy and just. Which, you know what? Sometimes that's a good thing to do with makeup. Like I said, everybody takes it so seriously and it's like, whatever. Okay, so there are all of these pressed glitters in here. There's Yanga, Clout, Pepper Boat. Oh, you know what? I need to do. I'm going to do Stand Up, which is this kind of a. This is pretty, though. This is kind of like a champagne. I'll do this on this inner corner with that. That's kind of pretty. Okay, okay. No idea what I'm doing under my eyes. I think I'm going to do this. Maybe I'll do Power. That looks almost like a multi curl. Okay, that is also very subtle. Here's the thing about this. These are so bright, and they're almost looking like watercolorish on my eyes. I would have expected them to pop a lot more. So I'm a little concerned and confused about this. I'll have to see. I mean, they do seem to be kind of buildable. Okay, this is a cool color, though. Okay, this is my favorite color in the whole palette. Okay, I have found the best color in the whole palette. It's called Power. It's this crazy, like, multi-chrome on the upper right. It's kind of like a turquoise, purpley green shift. But again, like, I'm layering a bunch of it on and it just, it doesn't have as much payoff as I would think. You know, it's weird. This is like a super colorful palette that it just seems to be very washed out looking when I put it on. I mean, it's not the worst thing. I mean, if you're maybe a person who wants to get into color and you're like, I really want to get into color, but it also frightens me. You know, the way I wear color might frighten you. Then this might be a good palette for you because it's like, it's got a lot of color, but it's like super duper buildable. So it's, um, you know, but I do love this shade. This shade is freaking awesome. My God, I could pan the crap out of this shade. I might actually, because I'm just trying, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm trying to get as much pigment as I can on here. But see, it's buildable. It keeps building and building. So, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. I can't believe I'm going to do this, but I am going to take some pressed glitter and I'm trying to figure out which one. I think the I think Yanga, this crazy blue. Why am I doing this to myself? Because forgotten favorite. Everybody was like glitter, 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 and now not so much. But let's just stick some of this here, just because why not? And I'm covering all the oh my god, falling out all over my face. This is just going to have to go all over my lid because, mm, alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Well, that's doing that now. It totally covered up the pink, but I think I kind of like it and I feel like glitter is going in my eye. All right, whatever. Oh, reminding myself why we don't do glitter all over the lids anymore. Maybe, okay, glitter on the lids may... The full glitter lid may have to remain a forgotten favorite. We might want to leave that in the past. <laughs> mm, maybe we should leave that one in the past. Oh my god, it's everywhere. Hold on. I really feel like I got glitter in my eyes. Oh, or it could just be the good apple foundation and the primer. My eyes are watering. Oh my god. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's just go full on. Let's take some of the gold. <laughs> Why am I doing this to myself again? 
I'm doing this because I'm a clown and I need to make you laugh. So, yeah, let's just throw a bunch of glitter here. Okay, let's do this. There. Okay, sure, why not? I'm washing off in a minute anyway. I do kind of like the... <laughs> this is like the worst I look ever. Okay, it's not that bad. Um, let's see. This is not a total forgotten favorite, but this is my uh, Ether Big Bang um, mascara. I got this in a boxy charm, and I said this is why I hate black mascara and white tubes. I almost, I will not buy mascara myself in a white tube because this gives me anxiety. Look at this; it's a mess. But I do like this mascara, so I'm gonna throw this on. <laughs> My hair's all getting in it. I'm not going to do big lashes or anything with this. I don't even think I'm going to put this look on my Instagram because she's scary. But this is just for fun. Pulling stuff out. This was mostly about the foundation and the primer and talking about Juvia's Place. Remember when Winky Lux came out with that little rose, that blush that was like a little rose and it was all like sculpture-y and everything? I have that somewhere. I don't know where it is. It's here somewhere. Let's see if I can just blend this a little bit better. Oh my god. I can actually feel... Um, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, duh, I'm such an idiot, I didn't put any glitter primer on. That's kind of a problem. No, I didn't used to do makeup. I need some more of this yellow. There we go. Okay, that's better. Okay, I don't, I'm not hating the eye look. Okay, the yellow is really bringing it together a little bit more. There's just glitter all over my freaking face. This is a journey. All right. Well, anyway. Oh, you know what I was going to do? I was going to take a little bit of this new, this is the new one. And I don't know what to do with it now. I put all this glitter on. I'll put it under my eye, over the blue. Okay, that looks kind of cool, actually. Oh my God, that looks really cool. Oh my God, this multi-chrome over this multi-chrome blue. Oh. We discovered something cool. Okay, that's cool. I like that. <laughs> it's like all purple. It just, this whole palette's all over my face right now. But yeah, I can definitely recommend these um, duochrome liquid eyeshadows from Juvia's. And especially, oh my god, underneath like this, other than all the glitter under my eyes. Mega glitter fallout. Where is my... Let me use a little bit of... Hold on going to stick my head down here. You might not see me for a second. Some blue in the waterline. With this, I would normally do like a big crazy eyelash, but I'm not going to do it tonight. Okay, so it's going to be scary, but let's zoom in. Oh, I'm going to get really close. All right. I want you to look at the multi-chromes going on in the eye. A little messy over here, but the multi-chrome under the... Okay, so... I'm trying to get really close so you can see my skin. Do, you, do we see this? Mm -hmm. See how the lipstick's like sm smudging and slipping everywhere? Hold on, I'm going to zoom out. So I think the eye look is kind of pretty though. Oops. <laughs> but, uh, so this is it. Mm, why do I still not look as bad in camera? I'm trying to really see... Uh, see, I don't know how much you could see on my pores and everything, but the good apple just like sits in every line and pore that is on my face. Although now that I have this with my glasses on, this is kind of like a really cute look and I don't hate it. Um, so after all these years, can I still recommend this All Star Physicians Formula Palette? Yeah, I love this thing. It's actually been staying out. And like I said, I used it Thursday. Um... The Winky Lux lip is cute. I mean, I bought this back when I was like, hey, that's a, I thought it was a cute container. Um, the little, it looks like a little pill. So I'm like, cute, bought it. Not really thinking like, 
me pink lipstick but it does go with the hair so whatever um using these crazy brushes it's the only way to make this oh god Jesus, I really feel like I have a mask on. I, can you see how much foundation is on my earring? I mean, my poor earrings, they're not even black anymore. They're like, th this good apple transfers so much. It, it's crazy. Now it seems like it's staying on because I put some powder over it, but mm, uh, top lip, you can really see all the lines. Like this line right here, it's like, there's like a crater in the top of my forehead that normally, like, oops, <laughs> that would like blur out really well. Um, so overall, Forgotten Favorites, still love a lot of them. Uh, this, you know, the high glass, I could take or leave it. I swear I'm going to try to paint, I'm going to try to use all this up. Maybe we'll use it for another look just to be silly. This I definitely still love. Juvia's still a good, uh, you know, not terribly expensive. Pa this palette, okay, I gotta say, when I started this, I was like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But it's buildable. Like, I really kind of strangely like this look now. It's kind of like weird alien rainbow, alien unicorn, I don't know. I definitely love the multi-chromes under the eyes, and I swear to God, I was, whoops, oh, that was my brush. Um, my favorite color is definitely this one called Power that I almost panned, just trying to get a lot of pigment. I will definitely use this again. Um, I want to try some of the other shades and do some other looks with this. Like I said, this was sent to me um, from another YouTuber, so I have been wanting to use it when Juvia's Place came up and like, are they still around? What are they doing? Well, they just came out with these multi-chrome liquid eyeshadows, which I love. Can highly recommend. If you see this Physicians Formula All-Star Palette anywhere, I think they're still making it. I don't know, but I've had mine since they came out with it. Uh, the Ether Big Bang Mascara, I still like it. I got it in BoxyCharm like last year or something. And I haven't used it in a while, but I do like it. I used it a lot, and then I just kind of stopped because I got some other ones. Um, I will say that the Pat McGrath Labs, this primer, was probably my favorite when I got it like a year and a half ago or whatever. It was my favorite, and like I said, I used it. I'm, it's so weird. It seems like this should unscrew, and it's not... Oh, wait! Oh. <gasps> There's still a little tiny bit in there. Should I scrape it out? Oh my god, there's like the tiniest little bit in there. Anyway, really, really good. Very bougie, very pricey. Can you do better? Yeah, you can get this Ordinary Primer, this high earhead silicone that I just used recently that I absolutely am obsessed with, and it's like less than 10 bucks. So the Ordinary, I can highly recommend. The Tula, again, it's it oxidized like crazy. I mean... I'm darker on this side than I am on this side. I don't know if you could tell, but oxidized like crazy. This one definitely has to go bye-bye. It's just, and like I said, I'm getting itchy right here. So I am going to go. <laughs> I hope you had as much fun with this as I did. This was kind of silly. I know I'm goofing around a lot, but, um, oh, and the Stila One Step Crack Kitten. If you like Stila, I still like this primer. I always like this primer. I still like this primer. It really evens out my skin tone, but keep in mind, I do have a pretty even skin tone. So you would have to try this yourself. If you have a very uneven skin tone, I can't guarantee um, how it would work. God, can you see? Oh, you really can't see it. I just, I wish you could see it better. Like my hand here and there's like a line. Okay, there it is. See it? See the line right there? This is the Tula Primer. That's how dark it is. And there's my skin. Now you can see it. See the line right there? That's the primer on my hand. That's my skin. That's how much that oxidized. So that's what my face looks like. <laughs> it looks like I put really bad self-tanner on. <laughs> I need to get this off of me. Okay, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you can even stand all the insanity that goes on here. But most of you, I know you love it and you love the honesty. If you want the honesty, you're in the right place. <laughs> and these super duper close-ups of every line in my face. Um, 
And uh, my advice is <sighs> let go of the full coverage primer as much as you can. I mean, you can find ones that are good that, like I said, The Ordinary is my new favorite. I love this uh, high coverage foundation, Ordinary Colors. My shade is 1.0 and very fair. Love this. Love it, love it. I also absolutely love this one size turn up the base BBB cream. And I think I got the lightest shade of this as well. Is there a... Uh-oh. I got rid of the box and I don't... 2AA1. I don't know if that's the shade, but I got the lightest one of this as well. I absolutely love it. I also love, love, love the House Labs, the, the Triclone Skin Tech Foundation House Labs. Loving that one. I like all of those so much better. Um, another thing that I'm going to do uh probably next week come back next week we're gonna do this l'oreal age permit perfect radiant serum foundation sunscreen broad spectrum spf 50 ivory 10 um how long is this good for 12 months good i bought this i think last summer and i used about half of it so just in my google timeline google news it just came up in an article that there was an article about this and they're like Oh, this is one of the best drugstore foundations. This Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation Sunscreen, Broad 50 SPF, Antioxidants Concentrated Serum. And I do love foundations. Now, that's another thing that, I mean, the good apple, it's just like you're just putting like paste on your face. I like a foundation that has a serum in it. I like a foundation that has skincare mixed in with it. That's like my my gig now. I love that. I love to feel like I'm doing skincare and wearing foundation at the same time. And I think that's a huge thing. And I think that's something that should not just be a trend. It should stay like that because you're doing like the double, you know, you're getting the skincare and the, the makeup. Um, if you're going to wear makeup, you might as well be taking care of your skin at the same time, right? So this has serum and it's an SPF 50. I don't know if you can hear that, like over half of it's gone. I used a lot of this last year. So let's use this up. I'm going to use this next week and I'm going to pull out that article that I just found on it. If they're kind of trying to revive this and give it a second life, I think, online. I can't remember if it was Bustle or where I saw it. They were talking about this. So we're going to do this one next week. Staying right on the desk right here. And um, let me know in the comments what you think of all this. If you remember these things, you know, the, the whole good apple thing and oh, everybody went crazy and it was sold out everywhere. Um, and let me know if there's anything else that you would like to talk about or see if I have it. I will test it if there's, um, oh, this was the other, the second skin is the other new one. The multitasking skin tint from the body shop helps defend skin from effects of daily environmental stressors. Again, and it's vegan for 12 months. I This is my body shop one that I got, the second skin. Another one that I really liked. It's very light. You know, if you're a full coverage person, it, all I'm going to say is you can you can get full coverage without, with, like this Turn Up the Base BBB cream, I cannot believe how much this covers for me. But that's me again. Um, I have pretty even skin tone. It doesn't take a lot to cover. Anyway, let me know in the comments your thoughts about all this. Let me know also if there are any forgotten favorites that you want to see. If I have them, I will pull them out because I do have a lot of like things that were viral. Oh my god. I just thought of a really funny one that's not handy, but I will show it to you next week. And it's something from Elf and it disappeared instantly and it went poof and it was gone. So I have a lot of the collectible things that came out. Oh my God, the ColourPop Candyland palette. Remember what a wah, wah, nothing burger that was? They did, the, I got that stupid giant PR box from ColourPop when they did the ColourPop Candyland game. And then it turned out it was like, the whole color story was like nothing. Like it doesn't even show up on most people's skin. Yeah, I have that. Maybe we should pull that out one week, too. I have some really fun stuff. So if you can think of anything that's a Friday Forgotten Favorite, Forgotten Favorite Friday, uh, Friday Favorite Forgotten, <laughs> Forgotten Favorite Friday, comment below. Okay, I'm out of here. I gotta get this off my face.
<laughs> Thank you for watching and bearing with me through this. Love you guys. See you next one. Bye.